Okay, so... I think we were going to go to the next route. Or try to go to the next area, I mean. And we got... Who do we got? We got Frankie the Ladybug, Theodore the C Dot, and Maggie the Happiny. Uh, so, nice little team so far. And I think we go up this way to um, go to the next area. I think. Are there any of these trainers? Be, we probably should be trying to battle some trainers so we can get a chunk of XP. There we go. Alright. Here's the first real test, I guess. A Wingle. I cannot remember if I randomized the trainers or not. I think I did, but I can't promise that. Oh, come on. Which I don't think Wingle is a Generation 2 Pokemon, so there's a good chance it is randomized. So I feel like he would not have a Wingle. Okay, that's not awful. I was expecting more. I still might need to switch him out though, because that's kind of cutting it a little close. Okay. Should be fine. Not a ton of experience. Uh, we could have got more by... Um, okay, so here's the thing. I, I don't remember exactly how these... Uh, these phone call things work, but if money is gonna be a, you know, a resource in this, I feel like I should add any trainer I possibly can to my phone to battle them later to get more money, so... That could come in handy later. Okay. Pichu. Pikachu could, or Pichu could just totally wreck us if it wanted to, more than likely, because <laughs> of its Thundershock. The copycat ability is going to be interesting. I feel like that's going to come in handy at some point. See, that would have been nice if we could have copycat Thundershock. Let's see how that does. Nothing, because it's, yeah, not very effective against itself. Okay. Hey, Flapjack, how's it going? It has been a while. I haven't got to watch anything of yours in literally months. That is sad. It's been going pretty good. Um, got into Pokemon, re well, I got back into Pokemon recently because of all the new announcements and stuff, so I've been kind of on a kick, Pokemon kick, so that's what we've been doing here. Uh, how about you? 
What's the last thing you streamed? The last thing I saw was like maybe a little bit of Subnautica or something. Golly, this takes forever. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, how long have you been on that one? I feel like that's been a while <laughs> since you've been on that. Yeah, man, it's, it's hard if, if you don't have like a consistent place to stream or a consistent schedule. I mean, it's near impossible to keep something going. Nine experience points for all that. Completely not worth it. And now we have to go back and heal. So it's better use of my time just to run away from the Pichu battles. More than likely. Go back at it. You know, when I when I wake up and pick my clothes for the day, I never remember that I stream. So that's why I end up picking things with green in them. <laughs> uh, but I have a lot of green in my closet. It's kind of unavoidable at some point. Nankata. I wonder how much experience it gives. Yeah, I feel like Breath of the Wild is a good, you know, is a good one to kind of put on at any time because where it's mostly just being in the world and doing stuff, it's not that hard to just jump in at any point. Yeah, yeah, like I was saying, it's, you got a lot going on, it's, I mean, even aside from being able to physically have the time to stream, like if you got a lot going on, it's also hard to just mentally prepare for that. Even though you don't really do a ton of stuff, I don't know, it still takes up part of your mental space to think about, oh, I, I should probably stream or whatever. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, what if we call Professor Allen? Okay, he's just talking about the egg. Okay, he just wants to show the Pokedex. Um, I thought I was supposed to just go up here and go to a new route. For a new area but I need cut and I don't think I can get over there I'm probably forgetting something I'm just gonna run for now no point in just fighting these at this point yeah I can't go up there so I'm definitely not supposed to go this way I feel like I don't think I'm supposed to go see Mr. Pokemon again. Um, Professor Oak mentioned going to the gyms, but I don't know where those are. Maybe I'll go back to the first town. We need Surf to go over here. 
talk to some people. Uh, you better visit the gyms. Okay, that didn't help. Maybe I'll look at my map. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Where is my dang map? Pokey gear? Alright, we can't go this way. Okay, so we need to go up here. Dark cave. And then I guess the Blackthorn City? Yeah. Okay, so there's a place on the last route where I go upward. Oh yeah, I can't. That's a new route too. I should be able to catch a new Pokemon. Joey wants to fight. Oh, he's just telling me random crap. Thank you, Joey. Okay, yeah, I remember now that you can go up here. Okay, so new Pokemon. I forgot this was a route. So, let's see who we can get here. <gasps> no way! Heck yeah! Ah, oh, dude! Heck yes! Please don't... I really doubt you're gonna one-shot it with a tackle, but please, for the love, do not get a critical and one-shot it. Okay, I think we're good. Even a crit wouldn't kill it here. A crit could kill it here, because that's half. So... Dude, another flippin' starter and a fire one? Well, I say another starter, but CDOT isn't exactly a starter. But dang, this would be awesome. If I can catch it. Starters have that really low catch rate. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I might have to risk it for the tackle and pray that I do not get a crit. I'm gonna try one more Pokeball because I can't just toss them forever. And if not, I'm gonna have to attack because that low catch rate is just brutal. But he is growling and lowering my attack, so that is good. Do we go for one? I think we go for one more and risk the crit. Okay. If I ain't catching it now, then I'm not catching it, so... Come on, Charmander, please. I mean, I could honestly probably tackle it one more time. Uh, and be okay. Please. Please. For the love, Charmander. I'm gonna attack it one more time. Frankie's attack missed. Oh dang, that, that's like nothing. I could probably attack it even more. Just don't crit. Okay, if I'm not catching it now, I don't catch it. There's no way. I cannot lower that anymore. I have four chances. For the love, dude, please. Please, come on, Charmander. I do need to switch out though. Um, I wonder if I charm it, if that would increase the chances. Let me try to charm it. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that's just a status effect. That's not a condition. Or that's a stat drop. Conditions increase it, but stat drops don't do nothing. Please, come on. <laughs> this sucks. This just sucks. Because if I kill it, I don't get one here. And of all the things, it's a dang Charmander. <sighs> that catch rate is just so brutal. It's so brutal. Alright, this is the last shot. I mean, I don't have... No, this is the last shot. I know it's not going to do it. Immediately. Doesn't even give me any hope whatsoever. <sighs> this is sad. Well, bye Charmander. Please just come with me. I didn't want to have to kill you. What? Garbage. Wasted all my Pokeballs and don't get a starter. That just stinks. I go spend all my money on Pokeballs now. That's frustrating. I got seven. <laughs> uh, okay. So if I run into another one with a low catch rate, that ain't, you know, it's gonna be rough. I need to fight every trainer I find so I can get some money. Oh man, that would have been such a good one to get, a fire one, this early. Don't need to fight. Just need to go. All right, well, let's get through this route. Maybe see who else we could have possibly caught if we did, ran into other Pokemon besides Charmander. Yeah, come to rub it in, huh? I would love to have six Charmanders. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to run into him on a different route for the first time in order to be eligible to catch him because of the Nuzlocke rules. I can only catch the first Pokemon I see on a route. A new area. I mean, the, you know. Maybe I can't go up here. Oh, Surskit. That would have sucked. I would not care about Surskit. But I mean, I guess it would have been better to catch Surskit than to not catch Charizard. Yeah, you uh, you missed my last one. So I did, I did like six hours or so of uh, Ekans. That would have been a fun one. Uh, I did like six hours or so of Pokemon White too. And I'd been having a pretty rough time all together from get, just getting crappy Pokemon, really. Um, and then all in a span of about 15 minutes, a wild Skitty killed my Skitty and my Do Doduo from, like, getting a double slap five times in a row. So I wasn't expecting that. And then I ran into a Tepig, another fire starter on a new route. I was able to, like, uh, I would have been able to catch him. Uh, but I had, of course, the catch rate was real bad, so I was trying to whittle them down, and I got to where, like, oh, okay, what are, what moves are not effective against him? And I had, uh, I had a water Pokemon out, and I thought, oh, water, that's right, water's not effective against it. 
because I was a water Pokemon, so I was like, oh yeah, it's not effective. But I forgot that I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about him. So I used a water move on him and killed him. So, and then that just ruined every bit of enthusiasm I had for the run right there. And then I lost to the gym shortly afterward. Okay, I need to find out what my deal is, because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I can't find a way forward. Oh my word, let me talk to you. Do I just walk around until the egg hatches? Hold on, I'm gonna look this up so I'm just not wandering around forever. So, so we go here, Rival Battle, Road to Violet City. Route 29, your friend called, yeah, da da da, did that. Um, return to the split path on Route 30. This time you can take the left path. Okay, I've missed that somewhere. Okay. Split path on Route 30. Which I'm guessing was the one back. Back over here. Oh my word, the encounter rate. Nope, not that way. Alright. I don't I don't believe that's Route 30. Route 30. It says go left. Which I thought I tried to do. I can't go that way. I must have just missed an entrance. Oh my word, that one little sliver. Okay, I'm stupid. Why would they even put that there? I mean, there's another way they could force you into this battle. All right, let's destroy his little cherubi here. <laughs> I will keep you out. Yeah, I'm, I must have randomized the trainers because there's no way he would have a Budu. That's like a Gen 4. And I don't think they just switched all these around. I think it's pretty true to the original. So I probably did check the option to switch trainer Pokemon. Hey, that's a good chunk of experience. 64, that's not even enough for a third of a Pokeball. Alright, let's battle you. You're not a trainer, okay. 
We'll battle you. Okay, so they're a bug catcher, so if they don't have bugs, then for sure I randomized it. Yeah, he's got a freaking dragon. <laughs> yeah, I randomized the trainers, okay. Oh, come on, use your supersonic. Let's see, we'll switch this out. Yeah, the randomizer aspect is just so fun. It makes it feel like a roguelike to me, which I love that. Especially if you play at Nuzlocke and you can only get so many Pokemon, so it makes you feel like you know you get a different build every time rather than just getting whatever you want. Gosh, that was garbage. Let's bring somebody else out. You did one with randomized everything, move stats, coloring. That'd be wild. Uh, I thought about doing that eventually. Like if, you know, if I ever get bored of doing this, uh, do one with just randomized everything. That'd be pretty wild. Or even the ones where you like, it randomized the typing. So like you get an electric type Charizard or something, you know? That must be all Bagon has at this level. Dratini. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Lear. Yeah, it's funny too, like, encountering a level 3 Dratini. That's a... Yeah, dude, if I could get... Well, I mean, so... I don't know how the randomizer works, but I mean, if that's in place of a bug Pokemon, like a Weedle or something, there's a high chance I could get a Dratini. That would be pretty sweet. Honestly, I should probably go back and heal up. Let me see what this is like up here. Oh, new route up here. But you know what? I'm going to... So that's a new route. There's a lot of new routes. Very early on. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if the trainer slots share the wild Pokemon slots. So I'm not entirely sure how the randomizer would work in this instance. Okay, I've got seven Pokeballs, so we'll see what we can catch um, up here at Route 31. And then I think there's a cave beyond this one, so we could get something at the cave potentially. We could maybe have a stacked team, like a full team of six pretty early on um, if we quit running into starters. And find some that actually want to be caught. Okay, Route 31. Let's see what we got. Smeargle. Eh, it's like another utility kind of Pokemon, which, whatever, better than nothing. Better than nothing. I mean, if I was like a super smart Pokemon player, I might be like, oh yeah, Smeargle's amazing. But I don't know. I don't know much about him. I know he can copy moves. Shh. Okay, buddy. Please don't crit me again. Alright, we're gonna swap out. I feel like we could probably catch him. Surely he doesn't have a super high attack. Uh, or... 
Okay, brother, you're gonna have to quit with the crits. That's a little too much, man. Please don't start this. Alright. Hopefully CDOT can stall it out for a while. Please. You know what? Honestly... Let's see, what do I have? This is five. I'm gonna throw one more. If I don't catch him this time, I'm letting him go and saving my Pokeballs for the next one that's not gonna be a total butt. Forget it, you're dead. I'm not even dealing with you. I've only got so much money, dude. We could have got a nice, nice Metapod that doesn't toss away all your Pokeballs. I didn't think Smeargle would be that that much of a pain in the butt to catch a level 4 one. Come on. <sighs> Let me make sure I don't have enough money to get more Pokeballs. I can buy one more. <laughs> Golly. This is rough. The money situation. Alright. Hopefully we can catch something in the cave that's ahead or whatever. Whatever's ahead. I just can't keep tossing Pokeballs at stuff that is going to waste them. Yeah, the beginning's a rough go sometimes. I didn't foresee running into two Pokemon in a row that have such a low catch rate. Okay. I'm guessing we have to go through the... Do we have to go through the cave to get to the next area, or do we just... Maybe not. But I mean, it's... Would it be worth it to do that now? Or maybe I should buy some more Pokeballs first. Before I go try to get one from the cave. Just in case. If I could rack up a little bit more money, that'd be nice. Slugma. The classic bug Pokemon. Well, I mean... Are slugs bugs? They're not, but some people might consider them bugs, I guess. Come on, Maggie, wake up. burned with flame body. <laughs> Dang it. Of course it is. No, please don't do this to me. Hopefully smog isn't a fire type move. I don't think it is. Hopefully he doesn't know any fire type moves because I might be screwed. I don't have a burn hill. Because why would you get a burn hill this early, you know? Okay, good. Smog is not fire top. I would be screwed. He's gonna have two more slugmas, I'm sure. Please don't get flame body. I 
I'll just keep Frankie out. Critical hit. Wake up, Frankie. There we go. Oh my word. Please, don't. Please. We'll kill him and switch out to, to the other one. Dude, I know this is the last one if I can just get rid of him. This ain't gonna work well though. One, because yawn, and two, because he's using smog and it doesn't do a ton. Oh, good lord, come on now. Oh, it's super effective on him, apparently. And poison. Okay. Fun stuff. Kill him, please. Nope. That ain't gonna happen. Oh yes! I forgot! Maggie's got the ability that clears the uh, status effects when I switch out. Heck yeah! Oh, what a clutch Pokemon. Maggie's gonna be like the one that carries the team. I, ha I just have this feeling based on how she's done. <laughs> Shift Tree is a very good Pokemon. Uh, I like Shift Tree a lot. That's kind of why. Well, I had the option between Totodile, C Dot, and another one, Nidoran. Oh lord, the poison. Uh, I actually randomized the choice because I couldn't really choose between them because I like all three of them. Um, and I thought it'd be fun to just, um, randomize it. Yeesh, this is not, <laughs> this hasn't been a good time at all. This has been a rough, uh, experience so far. Stupid Smeargle. Okay. Go back and heal. I appreciate when they lay out the route in a way that it takes you a while to go into it, but it's laid out so that you can just backtrack instantly, like that route up there. Such a good design. Yeah, unfortunately with uh, Theodore or CDOT that we have right now, uh, I looked up his moves and he doesn't really get a just a straight up damaging move until like level 13. Uh, so we gotta kind of baby him for another five levels or so, unfortunately. He pretty much has to evolve into Nuzleaf in order for us to use him. <laughs> So we're going to have to get to like a good grinding spot and just kind of level him up there. Okay, let's see how close we are to town over here. We might have been really close. Yeah, it's probably just easier to go heal over here, wasn't it? Oh well. Unless we battle her, which is possible. Alright, 
she got a dang Curlia as her starter. Violet City. Alright. Shard be Berry. Alright, here's the Pokemon Center. Alright, let's see what we got going around as far as roots and stuff. Um, this is Pokemon School. That's the gym, I'm guessing. Sprout Tower. Sprout Tower, you can catch stuff, I know. Um, that's where you can usually get a Bell Sprout, I believe. Flying Pokemon, is that it? Oh, that sucks, because we got a bug and a grass type. So, we're going to have to level up Maggie. And then we got another root over here. Can we go through it yet? We can't. Alright, so we have three different areas where we could catch a Pokemon. I believe. Is there... Maybe not, no, because we can't get through there yet. Oh, sweet. Oh, can we teach that to C-Dot? That would be awesome. Please, C-Dot. Yes, let's go. He's got Rock Smash. Awesome. Fantastic. That'll make leveling him up way easier. Okay, so we got these ruins here. So I'm assuming there are three areas where we could catch a Pokemon. These ruins, Sprout Tower, and the cave. Um... Maybe we just work our way forwards and try to go to the cave. I mean, we only have seven Pokeballs. <sighs> but I mean, if we're not going to catch it with seven, then we probably weren't going to catch it to begin with. And then maybe we can see if we can work up any bunny for the other one. Um, I don't know, I have a feeling we're just going to run out of Pokeballs really fast. So I say we go back here, yeah, let's go back here and just attempt to grab one from the cave. What we got? A chingling! Yeah, get out of here, buddy. Tingling is psychic, I believe. I'd be happy with a psychic, psychic type. Eesh. Um, I don't want to accidentally crit it. Let's see how it reacts to the Pokeball. Oh, beautiful. First try. Thank goodness. Whew. Okay. Ching Ling. What are we naming it? Let's see. I'll grab my sprite here while we think about a name. Does Ching Ling not have an evolve? Or does it? I thought it hadn't evolved. Chimichow, that's right. Chimicho. It evolves when leveled up with a high friendship during the night. I wonder how that's going to work. <laughs> uh, maybe we have to set our internal clock. I don't know. 
All right. So. Let's add it to our thing down here. Alright, there it is. Alright, it's a girl changling. Um, how about Bella? Okay, I'm curious what else we could have caught here, so let's see what the next wild one is. Just what we potential was. Oh, that's another changling. Maybe that's all that's in here. Maybe that's what the zoo bat was. <laughs> was chingling. How much experience does it give? That's not bad for a level two. This might be a good place to grind a little bit. Oh, or a Zubat. Much, much would rather have the Chingling. The Psychic type would come in handy uh, before before Zubat would. I feel. go heal up and we'll have to raise our chinglings level some I believe I kept the gym leaders to have the same typing as they're supposed to have just random poking oh man we could have caught a ghastly that's sad instead we got a stupid uh, stupid um what's his face smeargle could have run into a ghastly instead. That's sad. Gengar is like a top three Pokemon of all time for me. That's very sad. Do we try to go to the Sprout Tower and get another? With our five Pokeballs? Or is that a no-no? I don't know how much more money we could make without going to Sprout Tower and b battling trainers, though. Unless we did the gym. Can you do the gym now? Or is there story first? Uh, yeah, he is, so... We have to go through there anyway, and we can't get any more money unless we battle trainers. So, we might as well go ahead and go to Sprout Tower. I believe there's wild Pokemon here. Maybe there's not. Let me just walk around a bit and see. Yeah, there is. All right, let's see. Swin up. Okay. An ice type. Is ice good against flying? Let's see. Ice type is strong against flying. That would be awesome to catch if he knows an ice move. Okay. Alright, let's see. Surely Swanup has a low catch rate. It's not like a super rare Pokemon or nothing. Beautiful. Ah. Oh. 
Fantastic. Okay. Ice and ground. What are we gonna name it? It's a girl swin of. Swinna, Pillow Swan, and then Mama Swan. So it turns into a mammoth. What would be a good name? Can't believe we missed a Charizard or a Charmander though. That makes me sad. Got a pretty strange group of Pokemon. Like all of these are Pokemon I would not really use. Except maybe C Dot, you know? Alright, uh Swinub's name. Maybe like Pumba? Well that's a boy's name. Um Miss Piggy? I like that, Miss Piggy. Okay, sweet. We're just going to have to level these guys up. Um, before I go take take on the rest of this tower. Um, I want to level up our new additions. I need to check out what moves they got too. Dude, that's a nice little chunk of experience. Yo, Frankie got Comic Punch. Sweet. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. What does Comic Punch do? Flurry of punches two to five times in a row. Not bad. No, better than Tackle. If it hits twice, it's better than Tackle. So, as long as it hits to begin with. Uh... Chingling only knows rap, but I mean at least it's a damaging move. Full immunity to ground type moves. That could be handy. Tackle an odor sleuth. And prevents it from becoming infatuated. Okay. I mean they don't have nothing killer right off the bat, but we'll see what happens later. At least they got caught with one Pokeball. That I'm very happy for. That is very helpful. And I wonder how the ruins are. Um, if you could catch a Pokemon there. So I might want to go through the Sprout Tower and get some money first, just in case. Uh, but first, we're going to spend a little bit of time I have left today to level up our new our new guys. Alright, Miss Piggy. If Miss Piggy could get an ice move, oh, that'd be great for the gym. That would be great against the gym leader. Yeah, we should, we're probably better off just swapping. So although we missed a Charmander and a Smeargle, we got a Chingling and a Swinnob. This game's very generous with how many Pokemon it gives you before the first gym. When I did White 2, I only got like three Pokemon. Uh, so the fact that I could have potentially had seven, maybe eight before the first gym is uh, pretty good. <laughs>
It learns Mud Sport, which doesn't really help, but it's something, I guess. Miss Piggy, can you take this on yourself? I highly doubt it, because it has such high defense. Yeah. Alright. I need to look up how Swin Up evolves. Um, also need to look up how the time system works on here if Chingling evolves at night. It's probably just a matter of changing the emulator's clock to nighttime before I fight or try to level it up, I guess. Comet Punch was a good addition uh, to Frankie here. I wonder if we'd have a better time fighting in the um, cave versus versus here because I feel like we'd get more experience in the we run into a million Dagon Metapod that take forever to fight. Go try the the cave. Can you take it on yourself, Miss Piggy? I mean you could, but it'll take a while. And you'd get wrapped in the process, so no. Miss Piggy can't be switched out, very cool. Probably can't run either, can we? Because it has arena trap? Awesome. Why does this happen? This happened with the last Nuzlocke in the area I tried to grind. So this is not a good place to grind. Obviously. Yeah, and the experiences points isn't really even big enough to worry about it. So let's just go out here. Ghastly, which we can't do any damage to with normal type moves, so we gotta run. I hope Ghastly doesn't have Arena Trap, because if we run into that situation, um, then we would die, because, or we'd have to wait until it runs out of moves and kills itself, because we don't have any moves we could use against it, because every move we have is a normal move. Maybe we should go f train in the tower. I mean that should have probably the strongest Pokemon yet, anyway. I just don't want to fight a trainer while I'm trying to level these up just in case something crazy happens. Yeah, this isn't half bad to train here, probably.
Oh yeah, this is the spot. Just fought a bunch of Swinub. It just keeps using Mud Sport. What the heck? It doesn't even try to fight back. If we can get everybody up to level 10, I think that's when we move forward. Because we should be fine by that point. Ooh, nope. Switch out. That was close. Alright. And now we'll just switch out to Maggie. Honestly, I wonder if we could switch out to Theodore and just one-shot everything with Rock Smash now. Let's try that in the next one. That should be super effective. Yeah. And a crit. Oh yeah, here we go. Dude, we might be able to pretty effectively get uh, Theodore to the point where he could maybe evolve before we even try to take the gem on. But I mean, it'd still be risky putting him out there with all the flying types. But I mean, just in case. couple more battles then I'm gonna have to hop off we'll get Theodore up to level 10 This was definitely the place to grind, like holy crap. It looks like we for sure were going to get a swin up here though, 100%. I guess that's what got replaced with the... That's what Bellsprout got replaced with. Was swin up. Bella can learn Rock Smash. Do you have to... You can overwrite the HMs, right? Or do you have to find that dude that makes them forget them? Because I can't remember. Because if that's the case, I might not want to put it on everybody I can possibly put it on right now. But I can't remember if you're able to overwrite the HMs really easy or not.
We will continue the ground next time. Alright, so... So we got level 6, 9, 8, 6, 10. Okay. And wrap and growl. Rock smash. Yeah, I feel like Maggie is gonna be our our hitter for a while. Or our like go to. <laughs> uh because of her utility. What does Odor Sleuth do? Oh, enables you to hit a ghost type move. Oh, okay, so we we would have been fine if we got stuck with a ghastly with a Rena trap. Okay, cool. Call it punch. Okay. I think we're in a pretty good spot. We got a weird team, but that's the point of the Nuzlocke. 